would it be possible that something, uh, some cataclysm could come along in, in this world, in modern times, and a couple of hundred thousand years from now, there could be some form of life um, uh, speculating and wondering, as we are right now, about whether there really were, were these big buildings and uh, whether there really was a civil... In other words, could we be wiped out? Yeah, we could be the lost civilization of the future. First of all, could we be wiped out? Yes, uh, definitely. Uh, the most likely agency of that disaster will be the human race itself. Uh, if you look at the greed and the hatred and the vile behavior that's sweeping the world right now, the incredible yes. madness and chaos, uh, the most likely agent of our own destruction is ourselves and our, our greedy, dishonest, politicians who mislead us on a road to darkness. That is the most likely cause of our, of our destruction. But there's plenty of other causes that Mother Nature um, uh, offers as well. For, I mean, we, we, we know that, 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 that a gigantic um, uh, a, a asteroid called Apophis uh, is going to pass within 22,000 miles of the Earth uh, around about the year 2029. Uh, with 22,000 miles is an incredibly narrow margin in, in astronomical terms. And if there's even the slightest miscalculation on the orbit, we could find that huge asteroid uh, colliding with the Earth and literally sterilizing it of life within the lifetime of many listeners to this, uh, to this radio show. And what's scary is how many other objects of this size and scale that repeatedly and routinely cross the orbit of the Earth, how many more of these things are there out there? The answer is... We just don't know. And, and we could be swatted like a fly, frankly, at any moment. And once you realize that, then it puts, it, I think it puts into a stark perspective uh, the nature of human society today and how much, how much we as a species, how much we are wasting this incredible gift of life and intelligence and consciousness that we have, uh, that we have been given and how desperately we need to, to concentrate on, on creating a, a, a positive and healing society, which perhaps then could respond in a realistic manner to these random threats that are out there in the universe. I saw a Discovery special, and they showed what would happen if a big rock hit. And what would happen is uh, it, would, it would literally spread fire around the entire planet to the point that it would kill everything right down to microorganisms. There would be nothing left at all on the surface of the planet. And I mean... Nothing. And, yeah. and the only survival of any microorganisms would be somewhere underground, mm -hmm. somewhere between uh, the horrible surface temperatures that, that would exist mm -hmm. and the horrible surface temperature, or excuse me, interior temperatures that exist mm -hmm. inside the planet. So there would be this small area where it would be just cool enough for microorganisms, they said, to exist. Mm -hmm. And then someday, some way, make it to a cooler surface, maybe hundreds of thousands of years later, and repopulate the Earth with life. The process, process of evolution would begin, uh, would begin all over again. I mean, life, uh, life, life bounces back, but, but we and all our works would be gone. Um, and uh, it, is, uh, it, is a, it is a scary prospect how, how easily that could happen.